photorespiration is a kind of physiological process occur in the plants. This process is a different from that of the photosynthesis, but it affect the efficiency of the photosynthesis as carbon dioxide is lost energy is utilized in this process and it induces reduction in 30 to 40 percent in the plant efficiency for the photosynthesis. Photorespiration is also called as an PCO cycle that is photosynthetic carbon oxidation cycle which is also called as an C2 pathway as first product of this process contain or have two carbon in it and that is phosphoglycolate. against photo oxidation photo oxidation is a process in which at high intensity of light chlorophyll molecules are oxidized and decomposed in such case plant loses ability of photosynthesis forever as there is no chlorophyll remain so to prevent this oxidation of chlorophyll which is called photooxidation plant utilize water to absorb or to protect the chlorophyll against the sunlight plant uses water against the solar intensity and as a result of that photolysis of water is carried out and more oxygen is synthesized in the chloroplast of the plant but its side effect is that when O2 increases than carbon dioxide in chloroplast, at that time this oxygen react with ribulose biphosphate which is the reactant for the photosynthetic dark reaction and oxygen bind with RABP to form phosphoglycolate and PGA. Phosphoglycolate, as I told earlier, containing 2 carbon, PGA containing 3 carbon. Here, the enzyme is Rubisco. This Rubisco, we know very well, act over here as ribulose by phosphate oxygenase. This Rubisco has the ability to bind the carbon dioxide with RUBP in the Calvin cycle of the dark reaction of photosynthesis and Rubisco is called ribulose biphosphate carboxylase in that reaction. But if oxygen is more than carbon dioxide in the chloroplast, Rubisco acts as an oxygenase and induces oxygen reaction with the RBP to form phosphoglycolate and that is photorespiration. Photorespiration carried out in different Photorespiration carried out in three different cell organelles, namely chloroplast, paroxysm, and mitochondria. As this process occur initially in the chloroplast, the definition of photorespiration it is kind of respiration which occurs in chloroplast initially and only in the presence of light that is photorespiration. Photorespiration or C2 pathway in detail. In the chloroplast ribulose biphosphate is present which is pentose sugar oxygen react with RUBP in the presence of Rubisco to form phosphoglycolate that is two carbon containing component and one molecule of PGA containing three carbon. This PGA readily enter into 
द कैलविन साइकिल टू फॉर्म शुगर नाउ दिस फॉस्पोग्लाइकोलाइट कैरी आउट द रिएक्शन फॉर द फर्स्ट इट अंडरगो डी फॉस्पोराइलेशन बाय रिलीज ऑफ इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉस्पेट्स टू फॉर्म ग्लाइकोलेट इट कंटेन टू कार्बन दिस ग्लाइकोलेट डिफ्यूज आउट from the chloroplast and enter into peroxisome is a single membranous cell organelle containing oxidation kind of enzymes this glycolates glycolate enter into the peroxisome and undergo oxidation to form glyoxylates this glyoxylate react with hydrogen peroxide that is strong oxidizing agent and glyoxylate get transform into glycine this glycine containing two carbon and it's a kind of amino acid this glycine diffuses out from the peroxisome and enter into the mitochondria this glycine having two carbon as i told but remember that with the help of two glycine the process cannot be continue further in the mitochondria to continue the process at least four carbon are required in the mitochondria to complete the photo respiration cyclic process in such case when second molecule of rbp react with second molecule of oxygen the second phosphoglycolate and second molecule of pga forms this phospho glycolate again convert into glycolates then glyoxylate and then the glycine and this way when two glycine molecules are present in the mitochondria at that time this four carbon gets transformed into three carbon containing molecule and that is the serine again it is a amino acid so from the four carbon three carbon containing serine form and one carbon is lost in the form of carbon dioxide as i told glycine and serine both are amino acids so from this two amino acid one another amino acid form and so one nh3 amino ya ammonia get released in this process again in this process h plus or proton also releases which reduces nad plus into an adh this serine diffuses out from the mitochondria and enter into the peroxisome where it gets transformed into hydroxy pyruvate containing three carbon this hydroxy pyruvate later on react with nadh which forms in the mitochondria and now it again utilized in the peroxisome nadh convert into nad plus and hydroxy pyruvate get transform into glycerate over here containing three carbon again glycerate diffuses out from the peroxisome enter into the chloroplast which react with atp and phosphate is added in the glycerate to form phosphoglycerate or phosphoglyceric acid again and when the another pga molecule form the entire process is completed so 2 rbp plus 2 oxygen gives 3 pga and 1 carbon dioxide it is a complete equation of photo respiration scientists dica and theo explain about this entire process of photorespiration